Hey guys, welcome to this video. Thanks for joining me. Now in this video, I'll be talking about the recent changes that was made by the CFPB, which is the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Now you know that this organization, which is run by the government, is there to protect us, the consumers, and also protect our finances as well, especially when it comes to loans, credit cards, getting mortgages, and things like that. They provide all necessary information so that we are educated and informed before getting into such uh, commitments. Now, here's the thing. During the Obama era between 2011 and about 2016, 2017 period, the goal of the CFPB at the time concerning payday loans was to actually reduce the errors, mistakes that consumers make and also inform the consumers about this type of loans. And also they were designing this mandatory regulatory requirement that would often protect the consumers from getting into loans they cannot repay. However, since the Trump administration got into position, they have started to reverse some of these changes and they have made a final rule that is mind blowing. Now you need to understand that as a government entity, it's often difficult for them to satisfy both the consumers and satisfy the businesses that run the economy, especially the small businesses. In order to be in the middle position, they often have to weigh the pros and cons on both sides and then make a decision. However, I, in my opinion, I feel like these decisions and this revoking of some of these rules that are designed to protect us will hurt in the long term. And I'm gonna be sharing some of this information with you in this video. If you're new on my channel, my name is Steven Ojo and on my channel I talk about saving money, investing money and how we can make use of our money to create passive income. So if you are interested in subjects like that, kindly subscribe to the channel and also if you like or find value in this video, please give this video a thumbs up. I do appreciate it so much because that's how I get to know that you guys enjoyed this video and you guys have found value in it which would encourage me to make more videos like this. In this video, I'll be going over the rules and the changes implemented by the CFPB. These changes are highly beneficial to the people that actually run the businesses and make these loans to the consumers. Because after going through this 237 pages worth of documents, I realized that, see, the government is there to help us, but at the end of the day, the government needs to run the economy. And that is their main goal. I mean, they tell us that they are there to protect us and protect our finances, but at the end of the day, the government needs the economy to run and they will do everything in its power to make sure the economy remains stable. Now, especially with the global pandemic that we are experiencing that has put us in a recession, the government will do everything it requires to keep the economy going. And this points to my first rule. Before you go ahead and take out any form of loans and uh, put yourself in a situation where you may end up regretting the future, you want to make sure that you understand what you're getting yourself into. Always read the fine prints and understand that at the end of the day, all these rules and all these fine prints that I put at the bottom of those documents are very important because that will end up saving you tons of money and could prevent you from being in a dire situation. As we know, for anyone to go to a payday loan means that it is gotten really bad. And yes, it's understandably okay to use a payday loan, but if it's used wisely. I mean, I will discourage it at all costs. It's better to use a credit card and to use a payday loan. And this is the reason. According to the document I actually found, the average interest rate on the payday loan is about 400%, the average in the United States. I mean, when you say 400%, that is insane. Obviously, every state has its limit and some states would often have this limit imposed on these payday loans in terms of the interest they could uh, charge. But at the end of the day, it is up to us to understand what we are getting into. The other thing is this, as we know that the average consumer in the United States find it difficult to come up with about $400 to cover their emergencies, which means that most people would often run to loans to fund their emergencies. Now, 
after maximizing their credit card most people find themselves being unable to fund their emergencies anymore because now they have bad credit their credit cards are closed and they have to go to payday loans payday loans are basically this type of loans where you borrow money and on getting paid at work you end up paying off your loan but the problem is this because payday loans are high risk loans on the lender they require high interest in order to remain profitable and because of this interest rate that they charge and the fees that they charge to initiate these loans could often put the consumer in trouble now the question is this have you heard about mandatory underwriting provisions these are provisions that are designed by the cfpb so that consumers like you and i will understand the protections we have and also these provisions also set the guidelines for the lenders on how they can conduct their businesses but this is the surprising thing according to the document that i read about 237 pages like i said this document actually looked at these rules and also got the opinion of the people of the masses to determine if these rules should be implemented or not and to my surprise even after weighing the costs of these rules on the lender and the consumers at the end of the day the government has done its statistics and here's the statistics and the results according to them they are saying that because of the downtrend in the performance of these businesses that borrow this money i mean these businesses are going out of business pretty much the government is trying to make sure these businesses remain profitable and they remain open to the consumers you got to understand that payday loans is a different type of market on its own that generates billions of dollars every year for the government and keep the economy relatively stable so at the end of the day the government will do everything in its power to make sure these businesses continue to run and because of the downtrend in these businesses as you know most payday businesses are not as common as they used to be in the 80s and 90s and that is because most of these businesses have actually decided to move their businesses online thereby storefront businesses like you know armscord and so on are suffering from the fact that a lot of people are not coming in to borrow money from them anymore so obviously they cannot keep up with other type of businesses that strictly run online and the most important thing also is that consumers are becoming more informed and they are avoiding payday loans because of the high interest rates and the fees they charge. Now, due to these reasons, if the government decides to implement these mandatory underwriting provisions, guidelines and rules, it would further put a lot of uh, strain on these businesses that are going away. The other thing is this. As a consumer, we all know that we often want to get access to quick money and pay the loans is one of the easiest and quickest ways to gain um, credit or loans. And if consumers cannot get access to this quick money, that means it further puts them in a position that is not safe for them. Well, think about this. If someone cannot get money to buy food or buy or pay their rent or do something that is very important to them or to take care of themselves, well, what do you think that person is likely to do? The person is likely to commit crime, steal, and do things that may not be socially acceptable. So the government realizes that if they implement these rules, the costs really outweighs the benefits. So in the sense, it does not make sense for them to implement the rules. And they have decided to revoke and remove these rules that are designed to protect us, the consumers. Now you may begin to wonder, like what kind of rules are these in the first place? I'm gonna give you an example. Think about you coming to me, I am the business entity, and I'm going to borrow you some money or lend you some money. And you tell me, well, I want to borrow $10,000 from me and you're going to pay me back in two weeks. Now, according to this mandatory requir uh, requirement, you, I am supposed to do my own due diligence to make sure that you can refund and repay that loan as stated, which means I have to do your background checks, make sure that your income can actually repay the loan and also make sure that you are saying the truth but according to this provisions that has been removed now 
that means I don't necessarily have to go those extra miles. I mean, there's so much more to this rule. This is just a basic example. But the point is, those extra steps that were designed to make sure that the lender scrutinizes the borrower and make sure that this borrower can refund that money is being removed. So at the end of the day, if the borrower doesn't understand the ability to repay the loans, the lender could actually just give them money that mean they may not be able to repay. And that means that what they are stuck with a type of loan that they cannot get out of because their income cannot you know, repay the loans. And that means the lender will keep charging all these fees based on interest and they can keep making money, which would keep the lender profitable in this type of business. Are we not creating a bubble for the economy? Well, this is a very difficult subject because I must say the government will have to do what it has to do. I mean, but it is up to you and I to make sure that we are informed and, in, and educated by not taking on loans that we cannot repay. Payday loans are actually one of the worst type of loans that you could take your hands into because they are often easy to get, difficult to repay. And if you are in the situation that you are not able to handle your emergencies and you go to payday loans, you might be stuck in it for a long time. If you are interested in the article and you want to read it for yourself, there's a lot more to this article, but I'm just giving you my own opinion based on what I've read. It is up to you to do your own due diligence to go through this article and read it for yourself and make your own conclusions. But in my opinion, I believe this might not be a good thing in the long term. We, the consumers, will often make mistakes. And a lot of us have made mistakes in the past that we feel very stupid, you know, thinking that we understood what we're getting into. I mean, looking back, you realize that, man, that was very stupid and dumb. And that is what will happen to an average consumer that hardly reads the fine prints, that signs documents without understanding what they're signing up for. Well, I hope that you found some value in this video and I hope that you've gained some knowledge and insight as to what is happening with these payday loans and these business entities and how it affects the consumers. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and I also hope that you will watch my future videos because at the end of the day, my goal is to share information like this. In my own opinion, it's up to you to do your own due diligence and draw your own conclusions. I hope to see you in my next video.